What's up guys? Welcome to another beautiful day here at Glacier National Park. I hope you guys are freaking stoked because it's going to be a really fun day. You guys are going to get a lot of information on some of the different hikes that you can do when you get here. So let's just get straight to it. A trip to Glacier National Park was one of the best decisions I've made in 2019. And moving forward post COVID apocalypse, I hope it can be one of yours too. I mean, this place has it all, with towering cliffs, wild animal encounters, and just an overall feeling of awe at every turn, I couldn't recommend this place enough. And I just know, once you do some of these hikes, you will feel the same. For the sake of organization, let's start from the easiest to the most difficult. First up is Sun Point Nature Hike. The famous going to the Sun Road has been featured in movies like Forrest Gump and The Shining, and Sun Point is one of the best known spots along it. This hike starts at Sun Point Car Park and is a short 1.7 mile out and back. It's almost entirely flat, so it's manageable at all fitness levels. From Sun Point itself, you've got incredible views across St. Mary Lake, snow-capped mountains all around, and three beautiful waterfalls, Virginia, Bering, and St. Mary's Falls. However, it does tend to get pretty busy here. So I totally recommend starting early in the morning. Next up is Red Rock Falls via Swift Current Pass. It's another fairly flat and easy hike, though a little longer at 3.6 miles out and back. One of the highlights here is the number of animal sightings you're likely to have. Sheep, rabbits, moose, deer, foxes, and of course bears are kind of all on the table. Well, not literally. Figuratively, they're actually in the wild. But there's not just animals to see here. The scenery is incredible as well. Mountains towering above the trail, and of course Red Rock Falls themselves are fantastic. Again, it's another of the park's easier walks, so it can get pretty busy out here. Last of our easy hikes is the Trail of Cedars. A nice relaxed loop just 0.8 miles long, it's entirely boardwalk and is wheelchair accessible, taking you through towering cedar forests and past the yawning avalanche gorge viewpoint. It's located conveniently right on the going to the sun road, and like our other easier hikes, it gets pretty busy pretty quickly. If you want to make this hike a little bit more difficult and a little bit longer, I would definitely recommend for you guys to extend this hike out with a side detour to Avalanche Lake. You're now looking at a total distance of about 5.5 miles there and back, with more ups and downs along the way. Avalanche Lake is super pristine and beautiful. Plus, it's way less busy. Another moderate hike you can do is Hidden Lake Hike, starting from Logan Pass. It's just over five miles out and back from the Logan Pass Visitor Center. Follow the signs through the gorgeous meadows of wildflowers towards Hidden Lake Overlook, climbing gently up 460 feet to another popular viewpoint. Although it's a great hike, it was super foggy for us at the time and we didn't get much of a view, which was a little bit disappointing. But from the pictures on the internet, this viewpoint is it. From the overlook, follow the trail steeply downhill to the shores of the Hidden Lake, where you can get a fantastic close-up of the beautiful lake itself. This is another popular hike in the park, so again, I'd highly recommend starting as early as you can, and also be sure to check in at the visitor center, since bear sightings are common and can shut down the trail. All right, so now that you got some less difficult hikes under your belt, let's step it up to moderate hard with Iceberg Lake. If you're a big fan of constant mountain views, this is your hike. It's a 9.5 mile out and back that leads from Iceberg Ptarmigan Trailhead behind the Swift Current Motor Inn. Okay, so the first section is pretty steep, climbing about 12,000 feet pretty quickly, but it mostly flattens out after that. Again, I know I'm repeating myself, but this trail is incredible. Within a mile into it, we saw our first bear. This made me a pretty happy camper, as you can see. 
It's only been like 10 minutes of our first hike here at Glacier and we already saw a bear. That's insane. Anyway, back on the trail. For the whole time that you're hiking, you're surrounded by towering mountains, stands of pine trees, and magical sparkling alpine lakes. And at the end, the beautiful iceberg lake. The water is pristine and clear. The cliffs are really tall and steep, and it's really just that sort of place you'd want to just stay forever. But you can't. Early in the morning is pretty quiet, so get in early before it packs out. All right, last but not least, and a little bit more difficult, is the Cracker Lake Trail. It's just under 13 miles out and back, starting from the Many Glacier Hotel car park. There's about 14,000 feet of climbing involved, so it can get a little tough in places. But if you're an experienced hiker, it shouldn't be a problem. The trail winds up through alpine forests, meadows, under towering cliffs, and along meandering valleys, and eventually, you end up at spectacular Cracker Lake. I don't know, there's something about this lake. It's got that gorgeous alpine aquamarine color, the towering granite peaks in the background, pretty much making it my favorite hike in the entire park. Surprisingly, this one was actually pretty quiet, with not a lot of other hikers, which could also add to the reason I really enjoyed it. So if you're like me, and really value peace and quiet, this is a great one to visit. Oh yeah, we even had an opportunity to see a pretty shy moose with her calf, which was a pretty cool experience. Be aware that part of this trail is shared with horse riding tracks, so it can sometimes get quite muddy and covered in horse droppings, so bring your shit kickers. Also, bears are known to frequent the area, so bear spray is a must. Oh, all right. What a trek. I hope you guys enjoyed hiking Glacier National Park. I hope you got a lot of information so when you guys get here, you'll be plenty sorted. Remember, if you have any, whoa, don't mind it. <laughs> if you have any questions, hit it up in the comments and like subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Oh, get in to getting out. <laughs>